How's it going guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory School and Marina and I'm gonna show you a really quick tutorial here. Um, this is how we change out the lens of a scuba mask and I've just got an X-Vision here, just standard X-Vision scuba mask. Hope you can see it here. Um, we're gonna change out the lens in this mask and we're gonna put this our customers uh, prescription lenses in for him. Um, and if you have glasses or if you wear glasses or contacts, um, nowadays we don't have the big, large, bulky, uh, large volume or high volume mask where you could actually wear your glasses under them like they did back in the old days. Um, so you're probably going to still need to wear your contacts when you're underwater. The problem with wearing your contacts is if your mask floods any time that water comes in, if you open your eyes, especially in salt water or more turbid waters, you don't want that water and debris to get between your contact and your eyes. So another good option, of course, is to pop your lens out and get the right prescription lenses for your mask and then install them in. Now, if you're not careful during the installation process, you can actually break the frame that goes all the way around the mask. And I've got this one just about all the way loose. Uh, I've got a couple more clips to loosen up. But it's very important that you use proper tools. So a lot of people would probably just pull out a couple sets of screwdrivers and sit here and pry on this thing. And you run a couple problems with that. If you look just how small this screwdriver is here, you could possibly break the frame, you could poke through the frame, get on the edge of the glass, crack the glass, you could even so much as cut the skirt as you were poking it down in there, you could actually cut the skirt too as well. So we use the tools that are designed for that job. Um, and of course this is a little tool from Marez, a little mask tool here. And like I said, I've, I've pretty much popped most of it off here. I've got just a few more uh, little clips to get in there. But all I'm going to do is simply just stick it down in there and I'm going to work it all the way around popping that cl those clips off. And then once I have the clips off, I'm going to be careful not to damage the, the frame part of the mask here. And then very easily, the, the lenses now should pop right out. All right, You don't want to drop them, break them or anything like that, so I'm just going to set them aside. When you install your new lenses, you want to make sure that you get them placed on the right side. Now, these are pretty easy to do because the shape of the lens itself is going to line up only one way. If I flip it over, it looks like it's going to line up on the other side, but the way these lenses are designed, they got a little groove there, and that groove has to sit down inside the mask lens or the mask uh, frame itself. So I'm going to take the lens and I'm going to set it up inside there. And I'm going to make sure it seats good, make sure it's got a good seal. And I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but right inside the, the frame here where the skirt meets the frame, there's a little tiny groove. And what that groove is going to do is catch the edge of the lens here. So I'm going to set it down in there, make sure it's um, properly oriented, of course. Go ahead and take the other one, set it down in there, make sure it's good and oriented. Then I'm going to look at it, make sure there's no debris between the mask skirt where it seals into the frame and the actual lens itself. And if there is, just take a little brush, maybe a toothbrush or something, clean that out, or you can pull it out with your fingers. Being careful not to damage the skirt, of course. And then I'm gonna take the cap part of the frame itself, place it back on, and then take my time snapping each of those clips back in. Sometimes they can be a pain when you're doing it, but if you take your time, you should be able to do it without breaking the frame itself. So guys, that's pretty much how easy it is to replace a lens. Most importantly, do not use uh, screwdrivers or anything that's sharp or the poke through. Make sure you use a good wide plastic surface to pop it off. Uh, if it's a Mares mask, definitely, or any other manufactured mask for that, take it to a certified gear technician if, you're not, if you don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, a lot of times, if you try to do work yourself on certain items, it actually voids the warranty. Um, so, like I said, it, it's, you know, installing lenses, we don't actually charge for that. So, um, bring it in to your certified gear technician. Let him take care of it. That way, if he messes it up, it, it's under warranty. So, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.